In this video, we're going to cover what the link content type is and how you can use it in Elm. So if I want to add a link, you can see I can add content and there's type link. So that's what the icon looks like. It looks like a little link in a chain with an arrow. Uh, so I've added a link here through the outline designer and I've called it Drupal. So let's go and edit this link. So click edit, which opens up in a new window. You can see link is very basic. It's just title and a full URL or uh, path that's internal. So if you know how to reference nodes inside of Drupal uh, from a Drupal site, you can do that. Uh, so let's make a link to Drupal.org. So I'm going to type Drupal.org. Okay, and hit save. And then what you'll see is anytime you go to a link as a, an editor in a course, so if I click Drupal, I'll actually get this message. This node is redirected to a remote URI. Now that we might change that message to be a little less programmer centric, but uh, basically if anyone else clicks it, it's going to go here. So this is just allowing you to be able to edit this piece of material in the system. If it just took you there automatically, you wouldn't be able to anymore. So for anyone else that's going through the system, they would just, they click Drupal and what it would do is it would take them to Drupal.org in this case. Um, so links are very simple. You edit them the same way you edit pages and folders. Uh, they have no content body. It will tell you whether or not they're public or private still. And, uh, you know, it's, you just put in what the link is and what the title is to appear in the menu. 